The simple grunge effect has got to be the staple of merch designers and graphic designers in general that aren't designing logos or teacups for their local consulting business. You see, everything instantly looks better when you add some grunge. Not sure where to take your design? Add some grunge. Does that text look a bit boring? Add some grunge. You see my point? So if you're looking to add a grunge effect to some text or a picture of your cat, then congratulations, you're in the right place. By the way, if you wouldn't mind liking the video and subscribing, that would be really useful because I really want to quit my job and design full time. Enough talking, let's get on with it. Okay guys, so I am now small and in the corner of the screen, which means it's time to get on with the tutorial. So first of all, you're going to want to go to a stock photo website that's free because paying for them is really expensive. Unsplash is a really good one. Also Pexels and you're going to want to search for a decent grunge texture. Uh, so let's see what they got. So any of these would work really, really well. Uh, I'm going to have a hunt and find something quite interesting. Okay, this one. I like this one. This will work really, really well. So you're just going to want to save it to your PC and then we're going to open it up in Photoshop. So the texture is open in Photoshop now and we're going to just do a few little things to help the effect work a little bit better. And the first thing is to convert it to black and white like this, add a black and white uh, adjustment layer and also play around with the levels or curves, whichever one you prefer. And we just want to make the darks darker or the shadows and the lighter portions lighter. So we end up with this kind of effect and we're kind of just eyeballing it really. It's, it will still work without this. This will just help it work a little bit better. Okay, next up, we're just gonna merge these layers together quickly by holding shift and you can select them all. And then go up to file, save as, and we're gonna save it as a Photoshop PSD. There we go, PSD, which is just a normal Photoshop file. And I wanna call this grunge texture, if I can see my keyboard. we go lovely and I'm going to stick that in my merch design folder so I can find it quickly okay that'll do so once that's all saved now we can open up the text or the picture that we're going to apply this effect to I'm just going to make a new canvas quickly for the project 3000 by 3000 at 300 dpi ppi it's all the same I'm uh, going to quickly make that white and I'm going to import my smiley face that I'm going to use Do, do, do. That'll do. Cool, right. So to apply the grunge effect to the smiley face, we're going to use displacement maps. Now, displacement maps is normally used to maybe add a logo or um, a picture to a texture to make it look legit like it's printed onto the texture or, you know, so like a logo on a wall or something like that. So, for example, if we had the American flag and we wanted to put it on a towel, then we'd use displacement maps to make it look realistic, like it's on the towel, for example. Today, we're just going to use displacement maps to distort the smiley face uh, like the texture that we saved earlier. So make sure the smiley face is a smart object if it isn't already and head up to filter, distort and then displace. And this is where displacement maps is. So from here, um, I'm going to use these settings, but these are the two that you want to change um, make them higher or lower depending on how much of the grunge effect you want to come through. I'm going to stick to 20 by 20 and I'm going to leave it stretched to fit and wrap around. That seems to work really well. Click OK and now we can load in the texture that we saved earlier. So here's mine. Double click on that. And there we go. So the texture has been applied to the smiley face and as you can see it's eroded it and distorted it. Looks cool. It would look cool on a t-shirt. And this effect is so versatile. You can use it on text, shapes, pictures, like I said at the start. And you don't even need to use a grunge texture. You could use any texture and you'll get a different effect each time. So it's really versatile. So there are two reasons why I particularly love this effect for merch design. And reason number one is that if we remove the background here, we can see that um, the PNG has remained transparent around the edges. So if we were to stick this on a t-shirt, it would be really easy, such as a director garment print or something like that. The second reason is to do with text. So let me just show you that quickly. So 
So I've done the exact same process, except I've applied it to some text. Now let's type out the same word, but in a font that's already um, eroded. And I'll show you what I mean. So the reason why I love this effect for text in particular is because as you can see, when you have a word that has two of the same lettering, it gives it its own unique look compared to using a font like this down here where the two L's are exactly the same, basically. Guys, thank you so much for checking out the video. I really appreciate it. If you found it useful, please remember to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you're interested in seeing more merch design tips and tricks like this one. Thank you so much and I'll catch you next time.